Welcome to the channel that's an explicably an experience. Welcome to the Steve Morgan Experience. I'm Steve Morgan. This is my channel. This is my experience. And this is... For a start, uh, I've had a great week. I've basically done uh, some work in my house. I've, I've, uh, well, I say I've done. I let my niece do a lot of it, and I just sat and watched. But she's cut two of my sofas to pieces so they can be taken to the skip, which is what I've been wanting. So things are going good. Uh, I've had a nice week off. I haven't done much. Been lazing around a lot. I've, uh, I went to see a film today. It was a good film. Uh, it was called. Uh, what was it called? It was called. No hard feelings. Yeah, it was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I didn't want to see it because I'd seen the trailer and I thought, oh my God, that is fucking awful. You know what I mean? But it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was quite a sweet little film, actually. It wasn't a romance film. Which, it wasn't a romantic comedy. It wasn't anything like that. It was, it was basically about two people who become friends because of a situation which is a bit dodgy. But uh, it's a parents uh, want to set want a previous woman to sleep with their son because they want him to become a man. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> but despite the, the, that premise, it's actually a really good film. And it's quite fun and enjoyable. And I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good film. Bit fun, bit predictable, but yeah, it was all right. It was good. So anyway, there's the film. Uh, what else have I done? Oh, well, not much. Anyway, let's get on to the news. The news today, Elon Musk has basically destroyed Twitter even more. There are now four Twitters. <laughs> there's a lot of Twitters for the Twitters. But now there are four Twitters now. One owned by Musk, obviously. Uh, one owned by Mark Zuckerberg, which is... Uh, no, it's not Facebook. He's actually done a Twitter clone. A Twitter clone. He's made a... So he's already got Facebook, which was the original Twitter, and now he's got a Twitter clone. What the fuck? Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg uh, created Meta and said, soon we'll all be living in virtual reality. And his first thing he does is he makes a Twitter clone. Not only other Twitter clone, but this one was hilarious, because not only do you have to give half your information to this fucker, if you delete it, if you don't like it, and by the way, from what I've heard, it's not very good. Uh, if you delete it, if you don't like it, it deletes your Instagram as well. So it's like, what the fuck? It's like the devil's fucking potion. It's like, ha ah, ha, didn't read the small print. Bye. You want it back? You want Fred's back? Stay on Fred's. You want your Instagram back? Stay on Fred's for life, bitch. You're mine. Oh, and go back to Facebook as well. <laughs> I hope someday people realise that that is just a character I do and it's not me. <laughs> Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, some person has... Uh, uh, some TV presenter has been a naughty boy asking pictures of a 17-year-old. Well, it says 17-year-old at the moment. Apparently, they were 17 and uh, he's asked pictures of them showing their body parts. Now, if it turns out they were 17, yeah, that's... That's fucking horrible, really, especially if he's an old man. But let's face it, old men get pictures of 18-year-olds up on the top shelf all the fucking time. We never ever say anything about that. Hmm. OK. It's just, it's just... What is the difference between a 17-year-old and an 18-year-old? But an 18-year-old can sell pictures of their body for what they want because they're, they're fully grown. And uh, it's like... 
Although I don't morally agree with this man buying those pictures. I also think that a person of 18 years of age who is of a legal age, if they wish to sell their own body pictures, that's up to them. So it's a, it's a hard one for me there. Not hard hard because I don't really like 17 to <laughs> in your bodies. No. 21, 22 maybe. Uh, keep telling yourself that's the your daddy old pervert. I'm joking, I'm joking, don't get angry. Anyway, uh, <laughs> oh God, what have I done? Anyway, <laughs> I'm with the show. This week's Wally of the Week. I've already shown them. Here it is, Wally of the Week. <laughs> of the week. Can pregnant women go swimming? I'm a man, so I don't know. Is it possible for pregnant women to go swimming without unintentionally drowning the baby? How can the baby breathe if a vagina is underwater? Should the woman keep a vagina above water so the baby can breathe through the vagina? Serious question. I'm not even going to dignify it with an answer. Oh, darling, I was on the East Coast, you know. I had this wonderful place, darling. It was so fantastic. It had big, giant golden spears everywhere and uh, and loads of golden bars. And it was so fantastic and the uh, best place to be. Of course, it was a jail cell, but never mind, darling. I am Bella Bella. Jasmine's Food Review. Welcome back to the Jasmine Morgan Food Review. Uh, Jasmine, what are you eating today? I'm trying a pretzel stick with peanut filling. Go for it. Have a drink before you start. And what do you think of that? Nice. Really? No, it's actually awful. Shit. Oh, little chicken, chicken, chicken. We look at you and I remember the good times. All oh, those wonderful good times. Oh, you are really, really tight. Mmm, salty. I feel like busting loose with bad jokes. When? Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? To get to the other side. Now I found out they've got a non-binary transformer. Whatever next? Whatever next? When can we go back to the good old days when transformers weren't just, weren't a trans metaphor of the change and stuff you... Oh shit, I'm making you my... I'm talking bollocks, aren't I? Steve Soapbox. Shit action. Hi, welcome to the... Welcome to the soapbox again. Oh, glad to are here. I'm having a great day. You won't believe it, but I am having a great bloody day. Why? Because I basically had loads and loads of bank holidays just recently, so things are great. Of course, one of those bank holidays was for the coronation. And a lot of people are going on about the coronation. And it's all like, oh, why can't we just have fun? Why are you people who moan about the king? Why can't we just, why can't we just accept it's a day to enjoy ourselves as we pledge allegiance to the king? Yeah, I said that last week. Pledging allegiance, no fucking way. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Well, the reason I fucking am pissed off is because I watch people fucking suffer. And I'm not joking. I'm not making it up. I've seen people who can't, don't know where the next food is coming. I've been on a picket line fighting for, fighting for right fighting for rights for people and they and they are literally we're in a situation right now where the poor are suffering and what he could have done in his coronation is he could have just gone into a room done that shit said what he had to say and then give all his fucking money to the poor to help and uh, in some kind of charitable fund which didn't affect the inflation because it would because you put it in a separate account and your blah 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 basic fucking understanding and in fact and and help people that way but instead he decided he wanted to drive this big carriage everybody everybody had to have fucking street parties money 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 but it brought money in oh this is funny this guy the guy I was talking about last time, uh, two weeks ago, he, he literally said, he told me how much a coronation costs and how much 
and how much uh, it, it made with tourism. This was on the day of the coronation. I kid you not, well, not the day, two days later. I kid you not, he believed that he knew how much tourism was made after two fucking days. Bollocks! You don't know that much. You know, you, you can't, you, you can't explain straight away. And this is, bear in mind, this was a Monday, so it was still coronation weekend. And that's what people, people believe all the bullshit. Because I'm telling you now, I've been looking at the car, how much your tourism makes for fucking years, and it's not enough to keep a monarchy. There's hundreds of countries out there are doing well. They're surviving. And why are they surviving? Because they don't have a monarchy. Why are we not? And it's just like it's an outdated institution, and it's time to get rid of it. I got had a go at because I dared to turn around and call someone a hypocrite because they were celebrating they were, they were mourning the Queen Elizabeth. Yet they never fucking said anything nice about her every time she was alive. They just said fucking rules, hate fucking rules, hate the fucking rules, and it's like God bless you, ma'am. And it's just like well, that's hypocrisy. So I wrote it was hypocrisy, and apparently I was being disrespectful because the Queen had died, and I should have. I didn't be disrespectful at all. I didn't write out much about it. I didn't give a shit. I was. I stated afterwards that there was too much money spent because there was too much money spent, and that is something I have a problem with. And if you don't honestly think that having that as a problem, having that thinking that's a bad thing, makes you a miserable git and makes you a makes you an anti-monarchist. Yeah, I'm an anti-monarchist. Yeah, but. If you think that's a bad point, you've got a problem and you need to look at the world properly. You have some serious problems. And I'm not talking about one person, I'm not talking about two persons. I'm talking about a lot of people, especially in this country, who are fucking... Oh, where do we get the Americans moving in? The Americans love it. Yeah, the Americans love it because they're stupid. They fucking got, they, they think they've got freedom and they haven't. And they, they love the idea of, they want, if their flag turned into a fucking human being, they'd be like, oh, we have a king at last. We didn't want to lose you, your majesty. But we just also don't want to admit that we uh, didn't want to lose you because we're all stupid. Sorry. <laughs> what am I talking about? Anyway, that's my opinion. That's my view. Stick it up your ass if you don't agree with it. Booby, booby, boo. Uh, stick it up your nose. Beer. Beer is a man's drink. Women are starting to drink beer. Now here's a top tip. Make sure we give them some lemonade, sweet little girls. They can't handle it. <laughs> Don't let anyone feel I said that because I'll get in trouble because my wife, she could slap me, you know what I mean? So don't put this on a YouTube channel, will ya? Thought of the day. The thing about manners is, right, people say the world would be a better place with, it, with manners if everybody had manners. But my point of view is, no, it wouldn't. Uh, you still have rape. You still have crime. You still have violence. You still have builders being rude to women as they walk past. But it would be more like this. I say, my dear, over there. Ah. You are a very beautiful lady, I've just noticed, and I was wondering if it you wouldn't awfully mind, it wouldn't be a pro proposition, uh, if you would take out your tits for the lads. Don't let me get me started on the rapists. Hello, my dear. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take off all your clothes right now, and, uh, if you do, and I will be using a knife. I hope that's not an inconvenience, but I will be using a knife to threaten you. I, I will be as polite as I possibly can. Thank you very much for your your time. And I, I'll try not to hurt you that much. Thank you very much. It's fucking wrong. The thing is, though, people, you laugh at that because it sounds silly, but this is what we're doing in life. When someone is having a passionate conversation, there are people out there, uh, people who pretty much you all know, uh, who go... Oh, you've sworn. As soon as you swear, you've lost the argument. <laughs> and it's like, no, you're not listening to the argument because you're finding an excuse. And an excuse is a swear word or a bit of impoliteness. And at the end of the day, the world is too big to worry about rubbish like that. And it's sort of outdated nonsense. The fact of the matter is a person is trying to explain something to you. If he's lost his temper, then that's you being an... That's because of you won't listen. And that's because of you think that you're right. So that's your problem.
Maybe you are right. Maybe he, and maybe he shouldn't lose his temper. But here's the thing. If you wish to end the conversation, say, look, we're not getting anywhere here. I'm ever so sorry. I can't, I'm ever so sorry. I don't agree with you. You don't agree with me. Let's please stop. Yeah, that's politeness and that's, and that's manners. But here's the thing. It's better than going, you've lost, because you, sir, don't have manners. Because that's ill-mannered as well. And, uh, and it's also a bit of like, look at me. Anyway, my God, this was a big thought. Anyway, you probably never thought about that before, <laughs> because I don't think anybody else has. <laughs> uh, but that's what I'm here for, to think, to say, to think the things that you lot don't think. Mm. Hi, wait, today's interview is a familiar face. It's my niece, Jasmine Morgan, who's been brilliant on this show. She's Not only does she do the camera work, not only does she star in things, but she also gives me ideas. And I think she is basically my my assistant and my, produ- my producer. There we go, my producer. Okay, uh, so, Jasmine, uh, let's ask a few questions for you. Uh, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? I grew up. When I was little, around Portsmouth area, yeah, um, mainly around Buckland area to start with. Then I've moved about ever since. I've been in quite a lot of places. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you I'd rather stay put and be in one place, or are you quite happy with the fact you've been all around Portsmouth? Um, I really liked being moved around quite a lot, but obviously like changing scores and stuff that was a bit of a nightmare yeah I would have but, thought um, so. but yeah I was happy being moved about does it affect you because I know you like do you, like, do you are you a routine person yes you're um, definitely I'll have to have a routine if I don't have a routine it goes downhill for me yeah. in my fair, life but fair yeah. enough so I guess moving schools was a bit hard for that yeah. sort of thing yeah okay uh so you you, uh, you went to you went to a few schools. Uh, how what? I'm trying to think of a better question. That was a bit shit. Uh, so how many brothers and sisters do you have? <laughs> I thought that would fuck you up. Um, Good luck with that. So on my mum's side, there's six of us. Um, but my stepmom and my dad have got one child together yeah and then my stepmom's got three other children so basically ten ten but that's nine surely because you're one of them yeah but (laughs) he all in counts as me as well so it'd be ten 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 of the tribe so in some ways you're the youngest, in some ways you're the middle child in some ways you're not (laughs) it gets very very confusing very much yes it's very yeah. confusing and um i've got a big family tree so what is your earliest best memory i'm not going to ask for terrible memories i just want best memory but you can um, remember the earliest i remember um we used to live in a house by um by the prison over by yeah. the bridge by the rack and um we used, me and my sister used to play in the bedroom and we had this cupboard where you yeah. had all the towels. We used to hide in there oh and right. sneak snacks and stuff. But it was a very good hiding place where no one can find you. We sat right at the back under the duvets and stuff and no one could find us. But yeah, that was a good memory. Cool, that's lovely. So, uh... Let's think of some more questions. What's your favourite colour? I don't have a favourite colour. You don't have a favourite colour? Nope. Do you have any favourites of anything? Not necessarily, no. Oh, so I couldn't say favourite biscuit, favourite... No. no. Okay, you're like me, because I'm really crap with favourites. I'm like, I've got so much I like, why would I want a favourite sort of thing? Yeah. Uh, so uh, let's think of other questions. Let's, uh, do you want... So, what is your what is your opinion on the prime minister? The prime minister. Yeah. Don't know who he is, but um. His name uh, his name's Rishi Sunak. Oh yeah, then prime minister is shit. 
Hey, here we go. Prime Minister is shit. Because all that I do is just sit behind the blooming number 10 door without actually do anything. Then when something does happen, then they come out and appear. What's the point in that? Fair enough. Final thoughts. Right, ah, uh, last word time. Phew, that was a long show. I didn't just record her. <laughs> I didn't just record for forget the beginning and the last word together, honest. Uh, honestly, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I haven't just been sitting up and just laid back down pretending I'm tired and going to bed. <laughs> oh, last word time. Okay, so I'm going to do something this over the next three or four weeks. I'm going to do talking about gender because I had a friend of mine say, Gender is not a real thing. It's just this made-up thing, and it's not. And a lot of people... And uh, a lot of people go on about, oh, people, I've seen people get sex and gender mixed up, and I thought, it might, it's, people seem to think we're, anyone who talks about gender, they're science deniers, and they're not. And uh, I've been called bonkers, I've been called mad, which gets on my tits because I know what I'm talking about. And I thought this time... I would actually talk about it in a in in three or four parts. So, if you want to really understand what I'm talking about, you have to watch for three or four parts or four parts. If you uh, question any part without watching all four parts, or or maybe even five parts, possibly six, I don't know. But when it's over, it's over. Then you can question. You can, but you have to listen to every single part in my mind. So we're going to start off doing that now. I'll just do a little bit of that now. I'll just explain that one thing about gender. Right, okay, so this is a complicated bit, but let's, I'm bisexual, right? Sexuality is bisexual, heterosexual, homosexual, uh, lesbian, gay, whatever. Uh, we other ones, uh, but at the end of the day, pan. I'm not going to go into every single one because it's complex. Asexual, um, uh, all, all the other things. But what I'm going to try to do is... I'm boiling it down with one simple thing. Just just for the sake of argument, because otherwise it gets complicated. I'm just going to... And I'm not denying any other sexuality because your sexuality is your sexuality. But I'm just going to put the four principal ones, heterosexual, gay, lesbian, bi. Now, there's a, couple, there's, there's a lot of people now who are trying to separate from the transgender people and call themselves LGB. Ah, it's pathetic. I find it, it I, I compare it to the Nazis because it's what the Nazis did. It was like trying to say other people didn't exist, trying to break people up, trying to set people on, uh, 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 off a... Off on, off on each other and saying, oh, they weren't really, you weren't really together anyway. They, they just, they've taken your bandwagon and stuff, which is bullshit and historically inaccurate. And then, oh, but that's, that's besides the point. Uh, okay, let's try and go with this. The LGB, myself, I hate being, I hate them most because they say LGB and they say that bisexuals are. Bisexuals are not part are part with us, and it's like if there was no bisexuals, there wouldn't be trans people. Now, trans people go, what? That sounds transphobic. No, it's not. I'm not. I'm not saying that bisexual people fancy trans people. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying something completely different. Something a lot of people probably wouldn't have thought about. So, listen to me just a bit. I, I will explain it all. What I'm trying to suggest is sexuality and gender have got nothing to do. Well, they have got some. They're interlinked and non-interlinked. Sexuality is sexuality, gender is gender. But here's the thing, right? Gender constructs, and there are some people go, stereotypes. Yeah, okay, for a second, let's say stereotypes if you want. But gender constructs have existed in society for thousands and thousands of years. They've existed in indigenous societies, matriarchal societies, patriarchal societies. You will find gender constructs in all those genders. And if you, well, the biggest gender construct was hunter-gatherer. That's basically, if we boil it down, hunter-gatherer, right? So you've got hunters and you've got gatherers. Now, in the, in the caveman times, hunters and gatherers, they weren't 
they weren't just men and women. They were just, they were whoever could hunt and whoever could gather. That's how it worked. And it wasn't, oh, the women gather and the, women, the men hunt. That became, a const- that became more and more as it goes along. Yeah, without a doubt, but there's always been people who are gatherers and people who are hunters. By gatherers, I mean people who gather the food, prepare the food, get everybody ready, make sure everybody's eaten, and hunters are the ones who go out and get the food. Now, in society today, for a long time, it was men hunt, women gather. Yeah, but you think about that logically, that doesn't exist in this society today, and it won't exist in this society again. Uh, because sometimes women go to work and men stay at home. So you're saying, ah, exactly. And sometimes you have gay people, you have couples who are gay. So you have men who go to work and men who stay at home, couples who are lesbians, women who stay at work and stay at home. So what you've really got is you've got your feminine man, your feminine masculine man or even and even in that situation sometimes a masculine man can be the one who stays at home and a feminine woman could go to work but it doesn't it's just like so feminine and masculine become blurred and so do the hunter and gatherer it becomes blurred everything becomes blurred now you're saying yeah, well it doesn't really matter you're trying you're the ones trying to push it but no you're not because some people want to live their life as a woman. Some people want to live their life as a man. To say, oh, well, there's a butch lesbian doesn't want to live her life as a woman. She just wants to be a butch lesbian. That's fine. The truth is, bisexuals prove it all. Because if you think about it, a bisexual can, be only, can fancy every single fucking type. Every single gender. Every single sexuality. Every single gender. Okay, they're not going to get anywhere with lesbians if they're a bloke. But... What I'm trying to say is if they fancy every single gender and every single thing, like I do, and I like, I because I like, I like uh, butch women, I like feminine women, I like butch men, I like feminine men, I like them all. I like every single thing. If a man was a woman, if, if a person was born as a man, but, well, was it was born biologically as a man and now wishes to live, and now lives as a biologically as a woman, and I'll get into that later before you start getting angry, uh, I say, yeah, go for it. Be your own person. And that's the thing with your dad. That's the main thing there. Gender does exist. That's proven it because why would, I, why would I be attracted to every single type if there wasn't no gender? Think about that logically. I know you're thinking, well, what did he just say? And you're thinking, okay, I, don't, I get what you're saying to an extent, but I don't 100% get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. But this is the first part. That's why I'm saying there are four parts of this. I want you to understand that part. That sex and gen- sex is sex, gender is gender, but gender isn't just a stereotype. Because if it was a stereotype, then why would I be why would I be attracted to every single stereotype? That's I know you're thinking, but does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Just, just hold that thought. We'll be back next week and I'll explain more. Hopefully by the fourth part you will understand everything I'm saying. But thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.